Welcome back to Ring Fit Adventure my friends and today we are going through another fit skill and looking at how to do it correctly with good form. I'll be giving tips, potential regressions and progressions and cues in order to let you get the best out of it. So we're looking at the back press today, one of the better fit skills in the game for strengthening and posture benefits. You'll find that this move trains your biceps, your deltoids, your rhomboids and trapezius muscles and it also gives some good supporting work for your wrists and your triceps as well. This is important to train because it helps with supporting the shoulder girdle. Trapezius muscles are with the upwards rotation of the scapulae, which is important for mobility and stability, which in turn helps keep you injury free. It also has the wonderful benefit of being very good to counter common postural issues like rounded shoulders and forward head. This happens when your shoulders get drawn forward, when you're hunching over looking at your phone or when you're at your desk or stuff like that. It's very common, happens to a lot of people, so strengthening the muscles at the back helps draw your shoulders back and therefore gives you a better posture. Ring Fit uses back press as a very powerful single target offensive arm skill in an adventure mode, which can be unlocked through the skill tree early on and its queuing is mostly great. Now overhead press can also target these muscles similarly, if not quite as hard, so why make the video about back press, especially when I rated it the second best arm skill in Ring Fit during my recent arm skill video? Well, I made a comment about the arm position being very important and how it could lead to injury if done incorrectly. So I figured why not make a video, show the technique off properly and make sure that everyone is doing it as safely as possible. So that's what this video is. So let's get into it. The back press is highly focused on your posture. So it's important to make sure that we're starting correctly. Feet shoulder width apart, puff out chest. So raise it slightly. And then we want to have a nice straight back as well. So we're standing nice and tall. So we're then gonna take our ring, we're gonna put it behind our head. So when we get to about here, we're gonna flex the elbows so that we've got this nice bend here. Right, now here is where we start to get our issues. We need to make sure that the elbows are not flared out like this. We do not want them flared away from the body as much as this. Now the reason for this is that the humerus, so the upper arm bone, is now closer to making contact with the shoulder bone, the end of it called the acromion process. So it's going to pinch anything in between there, or it has the risk of pinching it at least. Now what happens here as well is you've got the rotator cuff tendons that pass between there. So where you're pushing in unfortunately increases the risk of them pinching the tendons for your rotator cuff, which therefore causes shoulder impingement, which causes a lot of pain and that can take months to recover. And in some cases, small surgeries can be used as well. And that's just not what we want to see. So we wanna make sure that we're not doing that, okay? So when we do set ourselves up for the back press, we want our shoulders a little bit in towards the midline. Now I said 45 degrees, I said 45 degree angle if you could get it. If you can't, that's fine. 30 is fine. Just make sure that it's not flared out in a straight line. So, so like this. Now, if you can pull that off, fantastic. It doesn't quite matter. As long as you're not on that zero line, as long as you're like 30, 45, something like that, it's going to help. We want a slight tuck of the chin and then we press in, okay? When we're pressing in, breathe out. And then when we release, breathe in. And that's gonna be your back press. That's the main stuff. So make sure that your elbows are out at that correct angle. So as far as potential regressions go, I haven't really got any for you. Um, it is a fairly basic move and you can do the overhead press. If you're looking exercise wise, the overhead press is actually going to be a slight regression of this because it doesn't have the quite the angle and therefore not as difficult to set up. If you're looking for a progression though, again, not masses we can do here. I'm not adding resistance to any of these exercises, but what you can do is you can include a slight shrug at the shoulders when you go to press in. So we've got ourselves nice and set up, nice and tall. And then when we press in, a slight shrug at the shoulders, that is going to recruit more muscle fibers in the deltoids and also in the rhomboids and the trapezius as well, which is gonna make it slightly more effective. But if you can't pull that off, don't worry, just do the standard one and then build up to it. So I mentioned earlier that the overhead press is so similar, just with a different arm position, but there are other moves that complement the back press well. Front press is great for the pectoralis major, which opposes the rhomboids and traps in rounded shoulders. So it's important to make sure that you have it in balance if you don't have rounded shoulders in the first place, okay? Otherwise, many of the core moves work well for keeping your body upright. Overhead squat, overhead bend and leg raise are particular standouts as well as boat pose for those who are capable. So there we go, that's a guide for back press. I really love this move, I think it's fantastic, but you've just gotta make sure that you've not got your arms in that straight position. 
you've got them forward so it eliminates the injury risk. We definitely want to avoid any potential impingements. So yeah, that's what the video is for. Now, do you like back press? Are there other moves that you're enjoying? And are there any other moves that you want to see a technique guide for? Let me know in the comments. And as always, like, share, subscribe for more Ring Fit content incoming. I've been Master Trainer Peter, and I will see you soon.